Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where Lark, oh my gosh, he is always going off on a little Lark and he's going to give me a heart attack because that little pup just always wants to sneak into the grasses and get lost. I can't believe Demeter ended up basically with a daredevil pup, but we are back with Generation 3 of the Dawn Moon Pack, here with our girl Demeter, her mate Ayasin, and their puppies Hare, Lark, and Clover, who are kind of stubborn they're very independent in their own way and they don't really stick as close to their parents as I would hope they would oh here has a little bone to play with that's so cute they're constantly scattering into multiple different directions which actually really concerns me I'm constantly worried that like we're gonna lose one of them to a coyote or something clover seems to stick with us the closest so far but otherwise, Lark and Hare are kind of always sneaking off into the edges. Oh my goodness. And then how big are they getting now? <gasps> Hare is huge! What the heck? So Hare is definitely our big eater this time around. He's already at seven pounds. And Lark is going to be our little one. So not only is he distractible, he reminds me a lot of some of the other pups we've had in the past actually like hawk who would be very distractible in the dark moon pack and wouldn't eat anything but lark reminds me of hawk and he's always running away not really focusing on eating and it looks like he's constantly getting his brother hair into trouble like lark oh my gosh lark there are things that can eat you you know wow you're in a whole nother chunk of territory you're gonna get all of your siblings in trouble. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and we're actually going to call all of the puppies over with a soft wolf because I'm worried that they're going to scatter to the winds otherwise. I love how Demeter's puppies, like for, this is the first time we've ever had puppies that are this stubborn about staying in place. So I think Demeter's gonna have to learn the art of the soft wolf and the call. Almost like being a border collie and herding her puppies everywhere. And now that they're all in one place, nap time! Oh, Ayasin, you scared the heck out of me. <laughs> what a cute family. I'm, oh, okay. If this is a thunderstorm, we're going to have to sleep through it and put the pups back in the den and sleep through it because Ayasin does not like thunderstorms. Oh, thank goodness. It went away. All right. Everybody doing okay? They're a little hungry. Dad's already gone ahead and offered up some food. Let's see, Clover, we'll offer you some food too, just in case you guys are that hungry. Hare is really packing on the pounds. Lark, please eat. No, Lark just wants to play. <laughs> so I think Lark is extremely playful, extremely bold, likes rushing off into the distance, and he brings his brother Hare along for trouble. But Clover seems to be very much a mama's girl and sticking close to us, which I deeply appreciate. Oh, look at you guys. We'll go ahead and give a little howl. I'm trying to get that family affinity up. Excellent, excellent. And then we might just go ahead and sleep because really, oh, Clover. <laughs> She's got the cutest little howl. I love her little howl. It's so squeaky. Um, yeah, we might go ahead. We could go a little bit. Wait, in fact, I feel like mm, maybe a late night rabbit snack might be a good idea after all. So let's send a meter over and we'll see if we can capture the flag for this area around the abandoned wolf den as well. And it looks like Junction Butte is a little bit still too close for comfort. What? <gasps> the pubs refuse to go into the den? Oh no! Our den is already flooded? Oh my gosh. 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 This is way too soon. <laughs> oh no. I mean, we haven't found that one weird den that we keep trying to discover and look for over here yet. And this is just way too soon. I don't want to take the puppies across the, the creek. The only option is the den that's all the way over here and kind of in Junction Butte territory. I think that's actually in their territory, so it, it, we wouldn't even be able to claim it. We're gonna have to go find that other den. Like all the way up here. What the heck? Oh, oh my gosh. 
This is this is really nerve-wracking. All right, Lark is totally ready for this. Hare is definitely struggling to join in on this. Clover isn't sure which parent she's supposed to follow. Oh, you guys. We might have some free-range puppies for a lot longer than I want. All right, come on, you guys. We're going to be moving this way. Demeter, oh, Lark tripped. That's okay. We got this. Okay, good. They're following us. Oh my word. Okay, so we might have to do some hunting. We might have to do some feeding. We have to remember that the puppies will get very tired. They're just babies. They're not even halfway ready to think about going to the summer hunting ground. And we already have to make this huge move. Hair, come on. We might carry Hair because he's, he's kind of lagging behind a little. Okay, he caught up. Oh my word. I can't believe we're gonna have to risk trying to find this like brand new den right at this key moment. I'm really nervous about this. I, like, I think Demeter's actually so nervous for the first time, she doesn't even want to eat. All right, Clover, you're kind of lagging behind too. I think that's it, Demeter's getting kind of nervous. We're gonna grab one puppy. So we at least have track of one and we're gonna keep moving. Oh, I do not like being on a big adventure with the babies this, this suddenly. I think Demeter's really nervous. All right, there's a mule deer. We're gonna ignore it and carry on. All right, we've got one mule deer with us. And there's actually a good patch of grass here. So I wonder if we should go ahead and have them nap while everybody's still in a good straits. Yeah, there's a lot of grass over here, so we'll have them all nap. Come on, Lark. Maybe when we get to the other side. Okay, those are more mule deer. Make my heart skip. Uh, several beats out of fear. All right, come on, little ones. Hair, yeah, they're getting really tired. So once we get to the other side of this little spot, then we'll go ahead and let them rest maybe in these grasses right here before we go any further. Well, there's one more chunk of grass up here. All right, how's Lark doing? Ayasin, I'm really worried about Lark lagging behind that far. All right, let's get him over here. Oh, geez, this is so, ah. All right, Iason's watching over Lark. We're gonna pull the pups in here. All right, come on, Lark. Everybody come this way. And we're gonna go ahead and sleep. Yeah, because they're about halfway exhausted and we're about halfway to a den that we don't even know about. Oh boy. All right, all right. I mean, can you technically raise your puppies outside of a den like this? Because they're still gonna be putting on weight and if you could just hide them in the grass, then you'll be able to go ahead and let them rest and have them stay in one place while you hunt, hopefully. Phew, okay, thank goodness it's morning. What do we smell? Danger, danger, I smell danger. All right, puppies, stay hidden. Stay hidden, you guys. There they are. Oh, please tell me that's the only coyote. All right, we're gonna give this coyote something to remember us by, because that scared Demeter quite a bit. And then Clover, get back in, cover. Please! Oh my gosh. And then the puppies are getting a little hungry, but I think we can go ahead. Do I have any food? Iasin! Oh, thank goodness. We can't regurgitate because we're too hungry. Okay, we're gonna need to get more food, but I need to have the puppies come with, so come on, guys. Wow, this is this is the biggest challenge I think I have ever faced. Okay, and let's grab, grab somebody. We'll carry Clover this time because she popped out of cover. And we're gonna move on this way, guys. Towards the undiscovered den. This is probably the most intense story we've ever had in Wolf Quest 3 thus far. All right, hopefully no coyotes nearby. Hare and Lark are still behind us. Thank goodness. These mule deers are offering themselves for noms, I think. All right, if they're offering themselves for so many noms and we're going in the same direction that they are, 
I think that I think that we're starting to think we need to do a breakfast hunt. I'm so nervous about that idea. But they're right here, so let's let's grab the pups. Everybody. Hair, come on over. Iasons with hair. And then we're gonna try to do a quick hunt. Because the pups are gonna need food and they're getting a little hungry and there's a lot of deer. So all right, mark on the map where the puppies are. Yeah, this is actually the most challenging I think I've ever, ever faced in Wolf Quest 3 thus far. There's a den nearby! It's probably the one we're on our way to, right? All right, female Mulder, you're not really as beat up as I want, but we've got our teeth in on you. So I'm just gonna take what we can get. Ayasin, grab her. All right, we're gonna take what we can get as quickly as we can. We need to maybe work on our pack affinity. I swear, if you drag me to the den, I would be tempted to release you. I won't, but I would be tempted. All right, come on. Ayasin, we need some chomps. Good job. All right, puppies are right there. Puppies are right there. Puppies are right there. Breakfast is right here. All right, come on. Nice soft underbelly parts of the deer. Bite, 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 bite. Bite and hang on. Oh, Ayasin, what the heck? He just got like yeeted. Oh my word. All right, deer, if you drag me across the den, like I said, just saying, that would be more than amazing. It's somewhere nearby. Oh, okay, so we might have to like, just stay in this more or less unknown area. There we go, thank goodness. We're gonna get breakfast, eat up as quickly as we can, go back to the pups, feed them. And then we're going to continue searching for this mystery den that's just hiding somewhere around here. I really hope it actually exists and it's not just like a, a whoops mistake. All right, we're, let's wait for Ayasin to feed. He's full too. Back to the babies! As quickly as we can! They're so well behaved! Clover, Lurk, here! I'm so proud of you! I don't think Demeter's ever been so scared in her life. She's really already come to love her pups. It's still it's still fresh. They're still new. We've only had them for a little while, and they've already had a bigger adventure than several of our packs really ever have, ever. <laughs> All right, everybody eat up. Clover, come on. There's a big old pile of food here. You guys are gonna need your energy. Were you sleeping? They were taking a nap. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Look at how strong they're becoming from this trip. I can't believe how they're already like really gaining a lot of strength from this. I'm gonna be so like confused slash tickled slash relieved if they can make it to summer hunting ground before we can find another new den. <laughs> they just want to play. Oh my gosh. Wow, maybe we'll we'll try to like have a challenge of going denless um, with some of our wolves in the future, but I don't know if pack affinity will go up whilst we're on the move. Let's wait just a second to see if our pups will react. What about a howl? Come on, guys. I want to see that pack affinity climb. Beautifully done, Demeter. Are they going to howl too? They are. And Clover's little squeaky howl is just precious. Good, pack affinity did go up. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Everybody has mostly full stomachs and we're ready to go. All right, I'm going to grab Clover because she's walking away from the group again. And let's carry on to the unknown distance where there may or may not be a den waiting for us. <laughs> but all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to have a heart attack on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like to give us all of the luck possible to find this den ASAP. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.